Hi guys, today we are discussing questions related to time and distance. That is a very scoring topic in quant section. I'll be making more videos on topics related to quant, reasoning and English for phase 1 of RBI and SEBI. If you like my video then do subscribe to our channel and for regular updates hit the bell icon. Before getting started with questions, let us quickly revise some basic concepts. As we all know, distance is equals to speed into time, which means distance is directly proportional to speed and time both. Speed is inversely proportional to time and vice versa. Now, if you have to convert speed from kilometer per hour to meter per second, then you have to multiply it by 5 by 18. Let us talk about what relative speed is. So, relative speed is speed of a moving object with respect to another moving object. Let's say there are two objects. A and B. If they are moving in opposite direction, then their relative speed would be the sum of their individual speeds. And if A and B, they are moving in same direction, then their relative speed would be the subtraction of their speeds. We will be using this concept of relative speed very extensively in solving our questions. Moving forward to the questions. Question 1. The length of the minute hand of a clock is 8 cm. Find the distance traveled by its outer end in 15 minutes. The minute hand of the clock travels from here to here and we have to find this length. The radius is 8 cm. As we know, the circumference of the circle is 2 pi r and as we can see this, this portion is going to be 1 fourth of the circumference which gives us the answer 4 pi as the value of r is 8 cm. And there is another method to solve this question if instead of time pass, the angle between the respective hands is given, then there is a formula for this. Okay, and m degrees is the angle given. Let's solve it like that, which again gives us L is equals to 4 pi. Question 2. A dog sees a cat and it estimates that the cat is 25 leaps away. The cat sees the dog and starts running with the dog in hot pursuit. If in every minute the dog makes 5 leaps and the cat 6 leaps and 1 leap of dog is equal to 2 leap of cats. Find the time in which cat is caught by the dog. Okay, so this is a question where we would be using the concept of relative speed. Two of them are traveling in the same direction. We will be subtracting their speeds. Dog takes 5 dog leaps per minute and the cat takes 6 cat leaps per minute. 6 cat leaps are equal to 3 dog leaps per minute and the dog takes 5 dog leaps per minute. Distance is 25 dog leaps per minute. Relative speed is 5 minus 3 which is 2 dog leaps per minute and the time taken by the dog to catch the cat is 25 by 2 which is 12.5 minutes. You can also solve the question by equating it from cat side. I have equated it to dog leaps because the distance was also given in the terms of dog leaps. Question third, Amitabh covered a distance of 96 kilometers, two hours faster than he planned to. This he achieved by traveling one kilometer more every hour than he intended to cover in every one hour 15 minutes. What was the speed at which Amitabh traveled during the journey? So, as given in the question, distance is 96 kilometers and he traveled 2 hours faster. And let us simplify the question. According to the question, in normal circumstances, he would have traveled x kilometers in 75 minutes. That is 1.25 hour. But now, as he has increased his speed, he travels at x plus 1 kilometer per hour. So, if we have to find the original speed, we have to find x by 1.25 hour which is 0.8 x. This is the original speed in normal circumstances and this is the new enhanced speed. So, as we know the equation, we have to put the values and check for the options. So, let us start with option B. If the final speed or the enhanced speed is 26, then this would have been 25 and 25 into 0.8 is 20, which is our original speed. 
if it was 26 km per hour then the time taken would have been 3.69 hours and here for 20 km per hour it is 4.5 4.8 hours so clearly it is not the answer let us check for the option a if it is 16 then this value would have been 15 and 15 into 0.8 gives us 12 km per hour with 12 km per hour it would take 8 hours and with 16 it will be 6 hours the difference is 2 hours hence option a is the right answer question 4 madhubala fires two bullets from the same place at an interval of 12 minutes but newton sitting in a train approaching the place here's the second report 11 minutes 30 seconds after the first what is the approximate speed of the train if sound travels at the speed of 330 meter per second this is a typical case of relative speed let's assume the point at which gunshots were fired is g and this point where the train was initially when it heard when newton heard the first gunshot is a and b is the point where newton hears the second gunshot this takes 12 minutes as the first gunshot is heard after 12 minutes and the second gunshot is heard after 11.5 minutes here so it means that it takes 30 seconds for the sound of gunshot to travel from point b to point a and similarly the train takes 11.5 minutes to travel from a to b let us assume this distance is d it is same for both the sound and the train we can compare these equations and on comparing we get as the distance of both the sound and the train is equal we can compare speed of train into time of train equals to speed of sound into time taken by sound so here we have to find the speed of train which will be equal to on putting the values 690 is nothing but 11 minutes and 30 seconds we get per second 330 by 23 minutes per second question 5 a car travels from a to b at v1 km per hour travels back from b to a at v2 km per hour and again goes back from a to b at v2 km per hour find the average speed of car two points are given a and b let the distance between them be d starting from a with v1 speed a car goes to b then from b with v2 speed it comes back to a and then again from a to b with v2 speed so the question is asking about the average speed of car let us first calculate the total time would be time taken in this this and this total time is equals to d by v1 plus d by v2 plus d by v2 on taking the lcm we get 2v2 plus v1 upon v1 v2 total distance upon time so we know total distance is 3d and time is d 2 v2 plus v1 v1 v2 which is 3 v1 v2 upon 2 v2 plus v1 option c i make sure to involve a question having variables in every section so to make you guys comfortable with these harmless variables Hope you find this video beneficial for your preparation and don't forget to like, share, subscribe.